Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And our topic today is how to compare stocks and indexes on Refinitiv, Icon, and later Excel. So what we will be doing? So let's consider here, let's compare some oil and gas companies and let's control it with some index. So let's take it ExxonMobil from the USA, Petrobras from Brazil, my home country, uh, British Petroleum or BP from Great Britain, Shell from Netherlands and Gazprom from Russia. And let's control it with two index S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial. So how do we do that on Icon? So we do here. And what is this? This is an app called Financial Charge. And okay, it is on my main page, but what if you don't have it on your main page. How do you find it? App library and financial charge. Open. And here we have it. So we don't want this instrument here. Let's go back to our company, ExxonMobil. So, ExxonMobil here. Okay, the second one, Petrobras, Brazil. Petrobras. And let's check it. Later, British Petroleum, BP, British Petroleum, BP, and let's move on, oh, L Company, oh, here, what do we have, so we have here, uh, the orange one is Exxon, the purple one is Petrobras, the green one is British Petroleum. So what can we see here? Petrobras and Exxon uh, are the three companies. Petrobras a little bit low, but here almost the same, and then goes down after pandemic. And Petrobras now is a little bit better than the other two. Cool. Now I think it's Gazprom. No, it's Shell. Royal Dutch Shell. Gazprom. No, it's Gazprom. And let's control it with S&P 500. S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Okay, yes, here we are. So, okay, we have our chart here and let's move it to Excel. Let's name it temp. Oh, first of all, before Excel, uh, how long? What is our time frame here? Here, the uh, standard is six months, or we can do it shorter, only three months. So I'm working with web version of Refinitiv Icon, so a little bit slower. Three months or one year, and that is the start of the pandemic. See how huge was the drop here. Uh, however, we have a problem here. 
with this chart. If we are working with papers, for instance, we cannot edit it and we cannot copy and paste. To copy and paste this one, you need to print screen and then save it as some figure. And some uh, journals, they don't allow it. They, are, uh, they demand for editable charts. So how do we fix it? So one year is too much. Let's go back to the standard six month. Okay. How do we do that? Let's do this chart on Excel. So let's save with some temp. And by the way, the Excel file will be on, uh, it is on video description, okay? Let's open this temp here. And how Refinitiv Icon exported, they exported as uh, the numbers. And let's do the chart here. Insert chart, just like icon. And here we are. That's not pretty. Why that is not pretty? They are not on the same scale here. We have here some uh, huge ones, that is Dow Jones, and then the second one here, S&P 500, and all of the other ones, they are too low. Man, and they are, they have different starting points. So that is bad. How do we fix it? We fix it using, and here is also bad because they have different starting points here. So, and when they are the same here, that means that, for instance, this purple one, Petrobras, it's much higher than it looks because it, the starting point was much lower. So how do we put all of them on the same starting point? And then we are able to compare their behavior much better. Changing the price series here. So this one is the absolute price. So here, absolute price. And let's change it. Total return. Total return. Oh, what do we have here? The same starting point. The starting point is zero. And now we can check their behaviors. Which one is better? So the purple one, Petrobras, was the best one for a lot of time. And then here, let me move myself here. On late September, it starts going down. And then the to control index, they go better. The S&P 500, the yellow one, and the Dow Jones, the gray one. However, it is much better than the other uh, oil companies, uh, such as, uh, and then the, uh, the worst one is the Shell company. It is the worst one. So let's export this to Excel. Uh, let's give another name, temp1, okay, yeah, temp1, however, to make it pretty, let's scope and paste this one to our first Excel file, here, and we call it total return. And let's insert our chart again. Oh, now it's much better. Now it's much better. So we are able to see it, same starting point zero, and then we are having our 
floating here. So here, church title, total return, are you and gas companies. And what is better on Excel that we cannot do it here? Oh, I don't want the Sean PBR, BPL, and so on. I want the name of the companies here. So let's close this step one. So first of all, let's copy and paste here. So the first one, ExoMobile. Mobile, the second one, Petrobras, BP, uh, Shell, Gazprom, S&P 500, and Dow Jones Industrial. Wow, our Excel chart now is much, much better. And then if you will be Using this chart on papers uh, to send to any journals, uh, you can send them or you can copy and paste this one and it will be editable. And also there are some journals that they are requiring the data. So you can also send it data. So you will have two in one here. Okay guys, so this is quite fun. And uh, you can compare trading different instruments and here you can compare stocks you can compare indexes you can compare uh funds so you can compare a lot of other uh numbers numbers here okay so you can compare uh any other instruments even if they are not related for instance let's compare it with amazon And whatever, it's up to you to choose the ones that you will be wanting to compare. So you can compare almost everything. And Amazon, wow, it's good, 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 but not so good as some companies here. Uh, for instance, Exxon and so on. And then it goes up, up, up. And on the last periods here, it goes up. And if you want to delete it, just come here and you can delete it. Here you can change the colors and so on. So you can also create some good stuff on Icon. Okay, guys. So quite interesting if you are comparing different companies. So guys, subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. Like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.